Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Lacey, this is Bells and Disney. On this channel, my family and I vlog our trips to Disney World, and now that our entire series of April vlogs are now up on this channel, which will be linked down below for you guys, I wanted to do an April haul. So this is gonna be all the things that we bought on our trip from Disney World and also have a couple of things that I've purchased from Shop Disney since then that I wanted to show you as well because I'm super excited about them. So we did kind of rein it in a little bit this trip. I don't feel like there's too much here to show you, but I am really excited about all the things and there's really gonna be no rhyme or reason to the order that I present them to you today. So without further ado, let's get straight into the haul. First, I have this turning red hat. So this is a panda hat. They didn't have a ton of turning red merch when we were there, but our daughter is obsessed with this movie. And this was such a cute purchase for her. She looks so cute in it. And she wears it every once in a while around here too, not just in Disney World. So this has been a really good purchase. It does have an adjustable strap on the back here and just these cute fluffy ears. I just really love it and she does too. Next I'll go ahead and show you our next turning red item. So when we were there they had a drink in Epcot in the Canada Pavilion that was called Pandaid and it was some kind of boba tea raspberry coconut situation. So my daughter got it because obviously she loves the movie and this is the little cup that it came in. It is just a cheap plastic cup. I don't expect this to hold up. It's already kind of dented in and scratched up and stuff, but we are gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer <laughs> until it does actually break or something. But it has the turning red logo on one side of it and it says Pandaid with a red panda head on the other. Next they have these souvenir coin machines in some of the resorts and maybe even in the parks. I'm not 100% sure. We got tricked by one. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted one of the coins, but we didn't have cash with us, so we used a credit card. And it is like, there is a one for $5 or four for $15 or something like that. There's some kind of deal like that. So we were just gonna get one, but it kind of forces you to choose four of them. So we ended up spending the full 15 or 20 bucks. I can't remember how much it was. So I will show you each of these coins now. On the back of all of them, it says the world's most magical celebration with Mickey Mouse and the 50th anniversary logo. And we have four different ones for the fronts. First, we have a Stitch one with the 50th anniversary logo, which Stitch is the one we were trying to get. He's our favorite. We got these in the Polynesian Resort, by the way. So three of the four are Polynesian themed. And then we have an orange Bird one with the 50th anniversary logo. Next we have Pua, he is the pig from Moana with the 50th anniversary logo. And then we have a Polynesian Village Resort with the 50th, it's got some Polynesian flowers on it and Maui, which is the tiki god that's in the lobby engraved on there as well. So like I said, we were staying in the Polynesian Village Resort. We did have a Polynesian themed stay and like state of mind throughout the entire trip. Um, we are obsessed with Stitch and we came home with a Stitch new emo. <laughs> I am ashamed, but I love them so much. I think they're so cute. Ava loves them and she had a good time taking him around the parks with us. So not only did we have to buy Stitch, but we had to buy his little purple outfit, which comes with this purple backpack, which is cute. Yeah, this happened. It sure did. So we already have an Angel new emo and their little hands magnetized together. It's really precious. Another Polynesian themed item I have is something we got at the Polynesian and it is this tiki mug. So I think my husband ended up getting some kind of drink at the pool bar at the Poly and it came with this souvenir mug. So this is one of the Trader Sam's mugs. I'm not sure what drink he had, what drink he purchased to get this particular mug, but um, a lot of their drinks do come with souvenir mugs. So this is the one we got. It's got these tiki guys on it and this like volcano kind of look to it. And I love this one in particular. He's got the tiki mask on there. And then on the bottom, they all say Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. This one is a third edition of this particular mug. So you'll see like a lot of them change color over time or slight differences in them with each edition. So this is the third edition version of this particular drink. I think he's kind of low key collecting these. I think this is his second one. So, and he loves them. So yeah, they are pretty cool for sure. We do have another Polynesian themed item and that is Olu Mel. He's a little backpack. He's super cute. I'll show a little 
little clip of Ava wearing him. This is the mascot for the Hawaii Resort Alani, which we want to go to one day. We were kind of talking about that the other day, like how we can make that happen or when. So he is like a friend of Mickey Mouse. If you've heard of Duffy Bear and all of those like friends of Mickey Mouse that represent the international parks, this is one of those friends and I'm obsessed with him. His shell is in fact a little backpack here. She has some stuff in here. And then his shell has Mickey Mouse on it. And then he's got these little spots on him. And one of them is a Mickey Mouse right here. And he's just so cute. I love his straps. And whenever you're actually wearing him, he'll kind of have his hands up like this and it looks like he's looking out over your shoulder. So he's super cute. The whole reason we got this is because we needed something to put Ava's keychain on. The first thing she purchased when we got into Disney World was a turning red keychain, which sadly has already broken. So it's got this little Boba Tea keychain on it. But either way, we love him and she still loves her little Boba Tea keychain that's on him. Next, we have a souvenir that we are kind of happy about. Ava was wanting this the last time that we were in Animal Kingdom. And for whatever reason, we said no, which we came out of that trip with a lot of toys for her so maybe it's good that we did rein it in but this trip she still wanted it and we got it for her and that is this Pandoran avatar tail and it's super cute you just wrap this around you velcro this around you and it looks like you're wearing a little tail and she wore it for the whole rest of the day in animal kingdom and she got so many compliments from everyone and i kept tripping over it if i was walking behind her <laughs> but flight of passage is her favorite ride and she has just been like passionate about owning this tail and wearing it she did wear it quite a bit and she still does so this was a good purchase. We'll have to take this with us the next time so she can wear it in the parks. Next, I'm going to show you something I got for me. I really wanted a 50th anniversary clothing item. I saw a jacket I wanted, but I didn't buy it. And then later on, I saw it again, but not in my size. So this is me telling you that if you see something you want, get it when you see it because I do have regrets about that. But I did get a really cool hoodie and I've worn it quite a bit. So I do really like it. It's this beautiful blue hoodie and it has the 50th anniversary logo right here on the front left chest. It has this really cute 50th anniversary print inside the actual hood of it. On the back it has a castle with the 50th anniversary logo and the fab five plus a couple extras. A few of the favorite characters there with some fireworks. So I really love this logo on the back or like this design on the back. And then going down the sleeve here, let's see if I can get it to focus. Going down the sleeve here it does say Walt Disney World. So I do really like this a lot and it's not exactly the jacket I wanted, but I do like it and I think this might actually be a little bit more usable to me than the jacket because I've used it quite a bit already and it's summer, so it's a lighter jacket than the one I was looking at. Next for a couple of 50th anniversary merchandise items we got, we did come out of Disney World with a popcorn bucket. This is our first popcorn bucket that's shaped like this. I think we do have one Christmas tree one, but this is our first one that's just like a standard, easy to carry popcorn bucket. And I loved this because it holds so much popcorn and also we were able to just clip it to Devin's backpack and keep it out of the way without having to hold on to it or worry about it dropping or anything. So it was awesome. Um, so I'll show you the design on this. So we did just decide to go with a standard 50th anniversary one with all the characters and some of the icons from the parks. There's Mickey and Minnie, Orange Bird, there's the castle of course. And we have Goofy and Pluto, one of the country bears. I think there's Small World down here. There's Spaceship Earth and Figment, and of course, Chip and Dale. So I do love this a lot. We'll probably take this with us in the future so that we can have it refilled. I, I just really like having a simple, classic popcorn bucket. Next is something I don't know if we'll keep forever, but I have it for now, and that is a 50th anniversary Coca-Cola bottle. So they did come out with some 50th anniversary logoed Coca-Cola bottles for the parks. They do all say commemorative bottle up here at the top with one of the park icons. We purchased this in Magic Kingdom, but got an Animal Kingdom one. So that just goes to show that you're not gonna exclusively get the Animal Kingdom bottle in Animal Kingdom. You can get any of the bottles in any of the parks. And ours is kind of more yellow and blue, but I've seen some of them be super pink and purple and beautiful. So I did rinse this out and I have it sitting up on my shelf. Don't know if we'll keep it forever, but for now I'm holding on to it. 
but it does also have a 50th anniversary logo on there if you can see it. It's fairly hard to see. So my husband and I became pass holders in October of 2021 and we are probably going to let those run out because I don't think we're going to be going to the parks enough in the next year for the annual passes to make sense for us. But Devin couldn't resist. He really wanted something that said pass holder on it and he ended up purchasing this really cool pen. So he just has this standard backpack that he really likes and he wanted to kind of Disney-fy it by putting some pins on it. So he got this pin on our last trip, but this 50th anniversary pass holder pin is his new one. It's got Mickey Mouse with the castle. It says 50 real big and it does say pass holder down here. So in the parks, they sell backings to these pins that are like locking backs and he bought some of those to put on here as well so they won't risk falling off. Next, I'm gonna show you probably my favorite item that we purchased on this trip and I just knew that we were gonna own it as soon as I saw it so luckily my husband didn't fight me too much on it he really loves it as well it's this super awesome spaceship earth cookie jar isn't it so cool pretty decent size and it was 60 bucks which I didn't feel like that was awful and we got a 20% pass holder discount on it but I absolutely love it we have it sitting on our little wine cart in the kitchen and they also had a castle I don't remember seeing the other two icons but um, we went with this. The castle one's cool. I'm not saying I won't ever buy it, but <laughs> for right now, we just went with Spaceship Earth. So I do love this so much. Okay, so that was it for the items that we purchased in the parks on our trip. I really don't feel like it was awful, but Shop Disney was running a sale recently and I went and purchased a couple things that I could not resist. I don't feel a little bit bad about either of them. Um, so the first thing is these bookends. Obviously, if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Lacey. I love to read. I have a whole YouTube channel focused on books and reading and all that good stuff so obviously I had to own these right like that's a no-brainer but I love them I think I'm gonna take these to work actually and have them kind of sitting on my desk but I just I couldn't not have them right also got them on sale so they were only 20 bucks I, it just it had to be done also when the bookings were on sale I really wanted another item so I purchased it this was not on sale but it is the Starbucks 50th anniversary tumbler and it's this really cool like spiky feeling. I don't know, I'm new to Starbucks tumblers, so if this is a familiar thing for you, awesome. But for me, it's really new and exciting. So on the one side, it does have the Starbucks logo, of course, and then on the other side, it says Walt Disney World with the 50th anniversary logo and the world's most magical celebration. I just love it so much. I've used it quite a bit around the house. It holds so much water, and I just love the beautiful iridescent 50th anniversary color of it. So couldn't resist. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for our most recent Disney World and Shop Disney haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing these videos after each trip and our next trip is Christmas, so I'm sure we're gonna go a little overboard. We always do. If you would like to see more Disney content from me, go ahead and hit subscribe. I do put out a new video every week and we do have another trip coming up in December, like I said, so we will have pre-travel hauls, we'll have pack and prep videos, daily vlogs, hauls. We're going to a Christmas party that we're gonna vlog. So we have a lot of exciting content coming from that trip and I do have some fun things coming out between now and then as well. So hopefully you'll join us by hitting subscribe. Let's go chat in the comments, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching, bye.